Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Defender's Quest. When we last left off, we'd recently picked up the dragon. We're on our way to the throne room, I believe, for more answers. Really quickly, I want to show this off, though. I didn't uh, know about this. I don't know why. It's been right there the whole time. You can just reset reset all your points. It costs a little bit of scrap. But uh, if you don't like the way you've built your character, you can just start over. So that's pretty nice. You can also redesign them if you don't like the way they look. And uh, the story characters, though, you can only rename. All right, let's move on to the tunnel escape. The party escapes the citadel through a sewer tunnel pursued by a force of revenant. And we've got a new type of worm there, shadow worm. Last piece of the puzzle. Ah, if you haven't figured it out yet. Yeah. Her ancestor was the foot soldier. Well, good luck with that. So, I mean, eh. He's trying to stop an evil from being freed. Okay. See, he's got the bandaged hand as well. I wonder why... Bacall didn't get uh, a special ability. I think not. Yeah, maybe. I kind of I kind of believe him but I mean I, I see both sides she doesn't want to die of course and he figures one life weighed against millions oh okay here we go yeah how can I hit these guys when I can't see them seem to be producing some kind of a cloud around themselves and yeah, your healers can dispel the darkness, but only for a moment. Yeah. So, and they're going to come through all three paths. It's these shadow worms that they're talking about there. So what we're going to do is put our berserkers there. And uh, evenly space my rangers there. Will that, will they be covered there? Yeah, I think so. Then Bacall on one side and Coat on the other side. And the Ice Mage is behind. And that'll pretty much take care of all of our damage needs for the most part. The knight's out in front to weaken armor and the dragons will stick up in front. Now in order for them to be able to actually dispel it though you have to boost them to at least ether flash. They have to have some offensive ability so boost both of them to ether then get your berserkers and rangers started. That's the key to fighting these guys. You gotta have your healers boosted enough that they can dispel, that they have some offensive ability. 
activated. Now, your characters can hit them even if they don't dispel that. They just have a greater chance. So they're missing a lot, but they did they did some damage as well. Start getting my ice mages boosted. And it might be better to to do like I was originally, stick a few characters out there and and fully boost them before bringing in other characters. want to get flurry going for these guys. Ooh. Let's throw a frenzy out there. That was even I don't think that's going to even be enough. Let's That costs 45. Let's actually lightning strike this crystal right here. See what happens. That was good, but not quite enough. I need to get these my uh, knights boosted a little bit. Start knocking down that armor a little bit faster. Well, those armored critters are just hurting. Stick the crystal down there. That worked pretty well. Throw a frenzy out there and pause. I want to get. Oh, there's not quite enough for that. Open with that armor bypass. I don't have enough psi energy, so that's just gonna take some damage. I don't like that, but what are you gonna do? I might not even be able to beat this. That guy didn't start out the right way. Well, let's uh, let's head back and do some of these other stars build up some experience that way. I got quite a ways ahead of where I've gotten three stars done. So this will work. Tiger skin vest for a reward on this one. Whoops. Boosted once too far. They'll be able to take pretty much these guys without much of a problem. There are some armored guys though, so we'll stick our knights out there. Dragons can be a, a last defense here. I'd actually be surprised if anyone got past the uh, archers by much. 
rangers. Keep calling them archers. Oh, the slugs are. They're just a little too fast. I suppose if I put the mages right there in the middle, they'd have probably range to go all the way around the corner, but we didn't need to do that. All right, sleet. Armor break. Oh, I didn't have my healers in there. Whoops. Group heal. Saving that. Let's get one in fire breath. Fire breath is a pretty good attack, but... Honestly, it's going to be a while before I have enough Psy to boost them. So I want to... My rangers are cheaper and, and longer range. They're just better to boost. Quaid fire motifs on the tooled leather belt are the only hint at the origins of this exotic garment. And that's light armor. Roska's got the lowest... And everybody else has more than that three. Blood Feud Copal reward for this one. Let's stick these two there. Oops. Keyboard's lagging a little bit. Again. Let's see. Put my rangers there. I can stick my healers there to get everybody. Or nearly everybody. Ice mage is there. Knights can go outside. It looks like the armored Enemies are going on the out two outside paths there. Kind of want to stick them there so they can hit everybody, but or both all three paths. But I think this is going to be the better option for our, this fight. get my essential characters boosted before I bring in the dragons. I think we can go ahead and speed this up. Shit. At least one of my mages up to sleet so they have a, a slow effect. Because I have a, a ranger that hasn't been boosted at all yet. And that'll wrap that up. So those rangers just mowing everything down. Nothing stands a chance. A group hill. And we finally get access to Ice Spear. So that'll make ice shard much more useful so now it can hit two enemies and each additional level will add another enemy it can hit so it takes it takes some some points in there to make it really useful oh, I didn't get my dragons in there oh well this nomad fighting knife is engraved with the symbols of the Gasta tribe above the symbol of an unknown rival group indicating a blood feud between the two his bone handle is grooved with 17 death notches. And that is very good. Oh, look at that. Rent doesn't even have a weapon equipped. No wonder. That's my fault. Sorry, man. He's been like that for a long time, too. Dang. Same basic setup here. Come 
Come on, keyboard. Keep up. Them start mowing some people down while I get everybody else in. It actually might have been better to put the knights in there so they can attack any armored characters that might show up in the middle and then put the ice mages here on the outside, but it's too late now. See how they do up there by themselves. And they're pretty strong. I don't know if they're strong enough, but they're pretty strong. Boost him just to give him a little bit more life so he doesn't die right away. Get her boosted so she can take advantage of that ice shard upgrade. Doesn't even look like we're gonna have any armored enemies. Okay, sorry about that brief interruption there. I'll cut most of that out, but. There will be a slight pause anyway. I got a phone call there I had to take. Made her through that battle though. Let's get some more madness for these two. And more range for the rangers. And... I want defense or lunge. I think defense because I don't have enough side to boost them. Anyways. You got roar. That's nice. That stuns enemies. And attack. So nothing new available there. And crystal or healing. I think crystal for now. The Monastery Ascension battle. Oh, this has uh, Ozumal. Let's get, get it paused so I can get set up. there let's get him there to start knocking off some armor and him over there her right on that corner and her there let's get these guys boosted a little bit and I'll get the dragons in after a little bit Let's see. Oh, already down to zero armor, so that was a good a good move. Oh, he's not in the healer's range, though, I don't think. Dang it. That's right, we're doing plenty of damage to him, it looks like. Speed her up a bit. And it's over. He 
It was easy enough. I have a feeling this third star isn't going to be as easy though. Ice Spear. And now we have Holy Light available for Coat. Did I not put a point in that for Bacall? I did not. Holy Light is another offensive spell. And Dark Foes, Dark Elemental Foes take extra damage. And apparently it makes them easier to hit for four seconds. So I'll put a point into that. And there is my timer. So when we come back, I'll... Oh, we have the bonuses available. I can talk about those really quick. There are challenges. Oh, yes, yeah, so they don't become available until you get enough gold stars to actually do them. Need 30 gold stars for the first one, and I just now have 30. So this, uh, these are challenges, challenge levels, and we'll take a we'll take a look at this first one when I on, in the next episode. I probably won't be able to do it, but we'll give it a try. Thanks for watching.